Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm showing you how to enable the debug features on Minecraft Java Edition. And so if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials just like this one in the future. So recently Minecraft Snapshot 25W37A added the ability for any player to enable debug features previously only available to the Minecraft developers. This includes stuff like actually seeing the AI of mobs and where they're going to walk, seeing into the brain of villagers with all of the things they think about and know about, or even just not even generating half of the world, as you can see right here. And these are just a few of the many, many different options that are available for different debug features. Now, before we go into actually showing you how this works, I have to remind you, these are debug features do not use these on any worlds that are important to you and make sure you make backups of those worlds if you actually want to try these out because these could crash and even break the game. So be very, very careful with these features. And so to get these features to work, you have to be on Minecraft Java edition. So that's the PC edition. And you also have to be in a version of at least 25W37A or any release after that snapshot. Otherwise, these new features will not work. And to enable them, we actually have to go over to the Minecraft launcher, which we have right over here. Now, what you need to do is you need to go over to installations. And I would actually recommend creating a new installation. You can give it a nice icon here. Let's, for example, use a TNT. You give it a name. So make sure you remember that this is actually your debug version and you don't actually play on worlds that you care about on this installation. Then you have to make sure that the version is at least set to this latest snapshot, 25W37A or a version afterwards. And then you click on more options down here. Again, it says be careful. Changing these options may cause the installation to malfunction. But what's important is that we have these JVM arguments at the bottom here. And this is where we're going to add the different debug features. So we go over to the end over here and type in a space dash DMC underscore debug underscore enabled. This is what you definitely need to actually globally enable the debug features. And then after here, you can add any of the different debug features that are available. I will leave a link to the Minecraft wiki page, which lists all of them. And for many of them, there's also a small description of what they will do. Many of these are not complete yet for description and need some more information at the moment, but that will of course be added in the future. But to add any of these, what you do afterwards is just type in another space, another dash, and then DMC debug underscore. And now we add whatever one we want. So let's say, for example, we want to add the collision. We just do this. The one for seeing into the brain of the villager is just called DMC debug brain. The one for generating half the world is actually called DMC debug only generate half the world, just like this. We can also do DMC chase command. This enables the chase command for some reason. And this is just all stuff to do with debugging the game for the developers, of course. We can also add DMC debug panorama screenshot, which actually allows you to take a panoramic screenshot, which means you take six screenshots at the same time. Let's also add DMC debug solid face. And so again, be careful because if you had just too many of these, then probably one of them could be unstable and it could break your entire game. But once you're happy with all of the JVM arguments you've added, then you can click on the install button down here. If this is checked down here, it will also launch the game immediately afterwards. So let's click install. And then there we go. It should install your game installation and then also launch the game afterwards. All right, we're back into the game. Let's go into single player and I'll just always recommend creating a new world for this installation and making sure you remember that this is your debug world. We'll make it a creative world and we'll just create a new world and see what happens. So I think one or two of these should be immediately obvious, but let's see. Yes, it definitely is. So first of all, it's actually quite laggy. We can see that I only have 13 FPS here, but that is a lot better already. So what we saw there is if we get close to blocks, we can see that all of them turn red here, which means we can actually place a button on them. And you can see that the snow here doesn't turn red because we can't place a button on the snow. That's one of the features we've enabled here. And we can also not put buttons on powder snow, as you can see right here. Now, the other thing we've enabled is being able to take panoramic screenshots. So let's try that. 
we hold down control and press F2. And now we've saved our panorama. Although of course I shouldn't do that in F5, otherwise that will not work. So let's try it again, control F2. And there we go. So I just quickly put those six screenshots into a pack called debug pano. If we just load that resource pack, you will now see that we immediately have actually our own background panorama from the place we were just standing in one go. So that's actually quite useful. Also, you can see we've generated only half the world. Anything below Z is zero is not there. And we can see through the side of the world. And so there we go. That is pretty much it. That's how to enable the debug features in Minecraft Java Edition. Again, a final warning, only use these features after you've made enough backups of your important worlds. So anyway, there we go. If you have any more questions about this, then please leave them in the comments down below. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please subscribe.